Welcome to the I Get Chem channel where we help you learn chemistry easily by showing you how to do problems. Uh, this is our second video in the quantum chemistry series. So uh, in this problem, I picked this one because it illustrates another important concept in quantum mechanics, which has to do with eigenfunctions. So uh, let me go over the problem and we will go to the solution. So the problem says, show that the function a times e to the power ax is an eigenfunction of the differential operator d dx. So before we actually uh, talk about the solution, let's talk about what an eigenfunction is. Uh, I, the idea of eigenfunction is important to quantum mechanics because essentially all of quantum mechanics is finding eigenfunctions and eigenvalues for the Schrodinger equation under different types of conditions. So uh, let's uh, spend a couple minutes talking about what eigenfunctions and eigenvalues are. So in the last video, we talked about a, what a operator is and furthermore, what a linear operator is. So let's imagine that you have a linear operator, we'll just call that L. When that linear operator is applied to a function, let's say F, and again, in this case, F is understood to be a function of X. So even though we don't write that explicitly, you have to understand that F is a function of X. And the linear operator applies a linear operation on that function F. And so uh, eigenfunction equations or eigen equations are equations like the following. Uh, if you apply a certain operator on this function x, for certain functions, you will get back the same function f multiplied by a particular number. So I'll just call that number lambda. So um, before we go further, let's look at that equation again to make sure we actually do understand it. So this equation on the left side says if you take an operator, operate, operate it on the function f of x, the operator will change that function f of x into something. So in general, it would actually alter the functional form of f of x because the operator does something on f. And so in general, you would not expect that a linear operator L applied to F would, in, under all circumstances, give you back the same function. So, so this is only special, and uh, this is only true for a set of very special functions. And the functions that uh, obey this equation, that is F, uh, L operated on F, actually gives you back the same function F are special and these are called eigenfunctions. So, so those, f those functions that, that obey this equation are called eigenfunctions. And um, you also have to look at the right side and understand that the right side is basically saying that it will give you back the same function but multiplied by a constant. So in this case, you have to understand that this lambda is not a function of x, so this lambda is a constant. And um, so uh, these constants that, uh, that are the solutions of this equation, uh, they are called eigenvalues. Okay, so, so this kind of an equation is called an eigensystem or an eigenequation. When you solve, quote unquote, solve an eigensystem, what you are actually finding or trying to find are these special functions f that if you put it um, on the left side of the equation, the operator will not change the function, but it will give you back the same function but multiplied by an eigenvalue, multiplied by a constant. So you're looking for these special functions, first of all. 
at the second part of the solution of eigen system is to actually finding these eigenvalues because for each f that actually works in this equation that would in general be a different lambda different value for lambda so when we say we're solving an eigen system or we are solving an eigen equation what we're really doing are two things. We're finding those special functions f that would actually satisfy that equation. And furthermore, we're finding for each of these f those, uh, that particular value of lambda that you would actually get back on the right side. Okay, so uh, it turns out that in quantum mechanics, uh, essentially the Schrodinger equation is solved by solving that eigensystem. So, so this idea of eigenfunctions and eigenvalues are really key to quantum mechanics. So I picked this problem because it illustrates what that actually means in real terms uh, in for, uh, for a particular mathematical function and its uh, and the linear operator so in this case the linear operator l is d dx and the problem actually is not asking you to solve the eigen system it's really telling you to show that this eigen system is solved by a particular function f of x which is given by a times e to the power small a times x. So this function of x has a x dependence here. So it's understood that that small a is a constant. And that big A is a different constant, is another constant. Again, constant meaning that they are not functions of x. So this is fairly simple. Actually, what you need to do is to basically take L operated on f of x and write down what the result is and show that that is just equal to f of x multiplied by some uh, eigenvalue. So let's do that. Um, let's change to a different color. So L operated on f of x is applying that differential operator to this function a times small a, uh, a times e to the small a times x. Uh, a is a constant, so that comes out in front. So you have d dx e to the ax, and that derivative is simple. It uh, will give you an a, and then it's e to the ax. So that is the result of applying L onto f. And now you see that whichever is on the right side, if you look at this, the product of those two terms, is basically just... Um, the function L itself. So you can rewrite this as A multiplied by big A times e to the power AX and that you can see is just A multiplied by f of x. So in fact we see that uh, L, um, this operator uh, with that special function f in fact satisfies this Eigen equation. So, so you see this is L operated on F gives you back A times the same function F. So from that, you can basically just read out the eigenvalue. So you can see that the eigenvalue in this case, lambda is just equal to A for this function. Okay, so that's a simple illustration of what eigenfunctions and eigenvalues mean. And we will see a lot more of this type of eigen system as we go to other problems in quantum mechanics. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want more quant content and solutions on quantum mechanics problems, please uh, do subscribe to this channel and give us a like for this video. Thank you.